Welcome again to this second video in the map creation process in Quantum GIS using version number 1.8 with Print Composer and we yeah we will start with this mm, very artificial map you can see some heights heights here we have a grid already and some annotations on the on the sides and we have a title but there's something else needed of course for a good map first of all we need something like a scale bar so just use this add new scale button here to a click and there we are right away with a new scale bar but as you can see it's very buggy and a little bit lame so we have some item properties here for this as well and first of all i would like to say well these numbers are here meters okay Come on. As I said, it's a little bit buggy. And there we are. So it's meter, meters, and um, yeah, a lot of guys are saying, well, you need to have your elements in the lower part of the map, or I like him. I like them to be in this in the map itself. So this is a scale bar there. And what else do we need? We need something like legend. So add new legend. And as you can see here, we have a lot of legend items that are not visible in the map. So there's no hill shade available on this map. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of the of this entry. So in the item properties, you can see something like legend items. Just click on it. You see all the items available, mark the hill shade and just press minus and um, it's gone. So that's for good. But let's have a look in the height distribution here. So we have the highest heights in the lower part of the list, which is a little bit yeah, disturbing because you expect them to be on, on the top. So just mark that entry and move it to the diary or to the uh, right position do that for the other entries as well. There we are. So now we have a nice looking list. Just press an update to make sure. But yeah, let's be honest. This looks a little bit shabby as it is not aligned. Just, just mark both of them, press here, the alignment, and align them on the right. What else do we need? We need some information about the projection itself. So in ArcGIS from Esri, you differentiate between add a title and add a text box, but nevertheless, it's just a default font difference between those elements. So what I need to do is I will add a new label here. So it is all governed by labels in Quantum GIS. So we have a projection here, which is UTM zone 48 north we have something like an ellipsoid which is WGS 84 we have a date of course it's the same WGS 84 I don't know whether there's a space between them or not uh, we have an author that's me great my name on the web it's so great and I will stay line that says map um, map units given in meters just to make sure that everyone understand what what this map is showing so increase this to here and I will align that with uh, oh, no what I've done just press this and there we are again um, I will align this with the scale on the top so align top and what is very good to know is that you can also group your items here. Just press this group button. And so if you're adding some other text boxes or so, you can easily arrange the view uh, by dragging around this group of layers. So that's it for the moment. You just need to you know, print the map to a PDF. These are old versions due to the fact that I'm having some problems with the videos. but yeah, map Mongolia. Well, let's say number three. Just press on save. Take some time for the map to draw. You can then 
um, easily open that, maybe in GIMP. So you can afterwards do some arrangements or change the map as you like. But don't forget, I don't know whether these are here now are vector elements or they are just raster types. I think they are just raster. So you cannot easily re, re or over change everything you would like to. But you could see there's, well, yeah, it's a pretty small, easy to use map. You can embed in your articles or in your homeworks for geography or geology. I don't know. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye. See you.